Well, this building, which is wrapped up at the moment, as you can see, is, is a wonderful building and was in fact the first of the lodges with carriage access up to the Ashton uh, Court mansion. And uh, this is from here, they took the windy scenic route up to, up to the mansion um, and it was replaced or fell out of use later on by subsequent lodges which were built on the estate. And what did you do to help get this building saved? Well, it's been for a long time on the at-risk register. In fact, it was one of the most uh, difficult uh, buildings to do anything about in that respect. What we did was to create uh, designs and proposals for how this could be brought back in, into use. We spoke to as many people as possible to try and find a long-term sustainable use for it. And I'm very pleased that we succeeded in doing that. And then, of course, we had to go about the very, very long-winded business of trying to attract money to it. And how did you eventually get the funding for this? And was it easy to get it? Well, it was blood, sweat and tears, I have to say. We had, we had uh, great support from the outset from the Heritage Lottery Fund, the Architectural Heritage Fund and some local trusts and English Heritage have all been supportive. We, the Bristol Buildings Preservation Trust, have put a large part of the original money we had from Bristol City Council 30 years ago into this building and we've also got uh, others including Bristol City Council in, in cash and kind have also supported us to try and make this work. And what kind of work is going to be done to repair it and when will this start? Um, it's scheduled to start um, in the summer of this year, it's about a year long project so we're looking to have it finished in July of 2016. Uh, it's, uh, it, the, the work is basically, the fabric of this building is, is pretty good. There are some cracks, it's moved a little bit. We'll be sustaining that, putting a new roof back on it and rebuilding some of the side, uh, the two of the side roofs. But more important than that, we're going to be restoring the interior, which, it, which is on the top floor, is, is quite sensational. And that would be a marvellous resource, which can not only be used by the school and the community, but can also be rented out to make some income for us uh, or for the, uh, the sustaining of this building as well.